Did you know that drug trial research has been shown to have better results through community engagement? You might be wondering, what is community engagement in the context of TV drug trials research, and how should it be put into practice? Community engagement is about creating communication opportunities for consultation, education, collaboration, and partnership. It's about building connections between the community and affected people with researchers and services. This builds trust and creates ownership in their participation. In the past, little information was shared between those running the research and those affected by it. Oftentimes, this led to mistrust, reduced involvement, and long-term impact on results. But recently, the importance of community engagement in the full spectrum of TB research has been recognized. So how do communities get engaged or involved in research? What matters for most affected people, vulnerable populations, and their community is to have a voice and be heard. We engage the community by listening first to all members of the affected community, and second, by providing transparency and understanding about the research process and its objectives. An engaged community should be able to share their concerns, how they are affected, and communicate what is working and what is not working within the health system. But who would you involve from the community? This is largely based on the nature of the research and the stakeholders affected, including trial participants and their families, people affected by TB, the local community, community engagement coordinators, community health service providers, educators, local politicians and chiefs, and research teams. Stakeholders can be different depending on the trial design and where it is taking place. So what does everyone get out of community engagement? Community engagement is critical because in the short term, we learn about the community's needs, capacities, and perspectives about the research and increase research literacy. In the medium term, communication and collaboration between all other stakeholders are improved. Participants provide feedback and address challenges for the trial. And in the long term, we support the implementation of the study results and incorporate changes to improve quality of health sustainability. To meet these objectives, you can follow seven steps toward community engagement. First, sensitize health authorities and introduce study members to program managers. Second, map and interact with community organizations to understand local culture, relationships, and receptiveness to engage in research. Third, engage stakeholders through seminars on the specifics of the particular trial. Fourth, Educate stakeholders on basic TB and research literacy. Fifth, follow up with community advisory board coordinators about lessons learned and to conduct follow-up assessments. Sixth, interact at all times by holding regular meetings. And seventh, and last, document the findings by publishing the experiences. You can learn more about the specifics of each of the seven steps by going to tools and resources in the Moodle site at the Treat TV Learning Platform. Applying the seven steps works best when we have formal and informal strategies, approaches, and structures in place. We can do these informally through meetings, focus group discussions, interviews, suggestion boxes, and other locally based events. We can also establish formal mechanisms like trial participant groups, professional groups, or community advisory boards. It is important that these structures are in place and all stakeholders are considered. If you identify and engage all of the right members of a community, ensure informal and formal advisory mechanisms are in place and follow the seven steps, you will meet the standards set forth by global tuberculosis and research communities for successful community engagement. <music>